Hi, I'm Aaron Sadoff, Senior Application Scientist at Lycor Biosciences. Today, we will be talking about range matching in the LI6800. We will cover what range matching is, why you would like to use it, and how it is done. Range matching is a new feature that Lycor introduced to the LI6800 starting with version 1.4.02 of the software. From that version on, users may occasionally experience a message that occurs during the system at warm-up tests that advises them that they may need to check or conduct a range match. What range matching is, is that is a new feature that allows, the range, that allows the matching functionality between the reference and sample erga to be mapped as a function of CO2 sample concentration. That data can then be fit using some kind of curve, and it allows you to have it, the ability to continuously match at whatever concentration your instrument happens to be operating at. As you can see on the instrument screen shown here, there is a slight offset between the reference and sample erga mole fractions. There are various ways to correct this. One, of course, is the traditional single point matching method. However, today I will demonstrate how this offset can be corrected using the new range match function in the LI6800. That functionality can be found by accessing the match ergas function here at the bottom of the screen. And as you can see here at the top left of the screen, we have the traditional single point matching, auto and manual. Most of the time, if you're using traditional single point matching, you'll select the automatic function and the instrument does all of the background calculations for you. The range match functionality is located in the lower right portion of the screen under the view CO2 and view H2O buttons. We will access the range match functionality for CO2. When you press the view CO2 button, you are greeted with a screen that may look like this if you have previously conducted a range match. If there has been no range match that has been previously conducted on your instrument, this screen will effectively be blank or it may just show your latest point match. However, in order to create a new range match, you'll need to select the green acquire button here down at the lower left. So I'm going to press that and you are, select, you are presented with a couple of options. You can run a normal range match curve at five minutes that takes about five minutes or a quick check at about three minutes. In most cases, I recommend the normal range match functionality, especially when you're starting up for the first time over the course of a day. This next box is the flow S to flow R flow ratio. This may be set to a different value by default on your instrument, usually around 1.10 or 1.13. You may need to occasionally adjust this value to get the best possible range match. In order to begin conducting your range match, you simply hit the continue button. And then the instrument starts to conduct the range match. CO2 is first lowered in the erga. And then you will start to see new green dots appear on this screen as the data is collected for the range match function. After the range match has been completed, this is the screen that will show up on the instrument. It will display the current coefficients for the polynomial range match. It will tell you the new coefficients for the new range match that you've just completed. It'll give you some basic stats about the mean and uh, standard deviation, as well as the balance between the average down and up between when the concentration is ramping up and the concentration is ramping down. And here it was negative 0.02. Any value that is around 0.1 or lower is fine. You will then be presented with the option of canceling or retaining. If you do not feel that the range match has been well conducted, you can always cancel and then run a new range match. In this case, the range match was satisfactorily run and I would select the retain option. 
After you exit the range match screen here, after the curve is com completed, you can select various fitting options. So in some cases, a complete curve fit using a polynomial to fit all of the available data is, the, uh, is appropriate. Other options include the partial fit option here that allows just a partial fit to be completed to the range match data. This is particularly useful if you're operating in a very limited CO2 concentration range as I'm doing here today. So I'm going to select the partial fit there. You can see that the highlighted portion of the curve is, is just a fraction of all of the data that's available. And the instrument has just fit a small portion now of that data. We'll select exit CO2. And then the close matching function on the top right portion of the screen. And as you can see here, the reference and sample CO2 mole fractions are now well matched with the expected assimilation value right around zero. Now that CO2 is matched, we will go back to the match screen here and I'm just going to highlight the other option that's available for range matching under the water vapor range matching option. So we'll select view H2O. And as you can see, this instrument already has a range match curve that has been implemented. If you need to run a water range match, in case, say, you were directed to by the system or warm-up tests, the way to do that is very similar, or identical almost, to running a CO2 range match. You simply select the Acquire button here, and then you end up selecting a flow split ratio and an option where either you run a normal curve or a quick check. In general, for water vapor, I tend to run normal curves, and you can start by using the same flow split ratio that you used for the CO2 range match. However, please be aware that you may need to alter this flow split ratio a little bit more depending upon, um, depending upon your instrument and the fact that water is more adsorptive. So it typically requires a little bit different flow split than a, a CO2 range match. So I'm going to cancel out of that. And as you can see, the process, though, is identical. The instrument ramps water up from a low concentration to a high concentration and then back down to a low concentration. It collects all of that data and then fits a polynomial curve to the available data. And that creates the basis for a water range match in the LI6800. So now we have an instrument that is using the range match function for both water vapor and CO2. Please note that if you want the instrument to continue using the particular range match function that you've implemented, you'll need to make sure that under log files and matching options, your point match is set to never match for CO2 and never match for water vapor. If you do end up conducting a point match inadvertently, the curve may be altered based on the point match. To see if your curve is being altered by a point match, you can go back to the range match screen and you can make sure, first of all, that this use latest match point is not checked and that any match points you have, if they are up off of the curve, you do not see the curve being drugged down to that particular match point. So I'll show a brief example here. If, for instance, I did have the range match being altered by a point match, you'd see something like this. And as you can see, that point match at this point is a little ways off of the range match curve. If this occurs, then you will not have as satisfactorily a, as good of a match between your ergas, and you'll want to make sure this option is not checked. Range matching is a new feature that Lycor has pioneered and introduced into the LI6800. This feature is very useful for techniques such as the racer technique or the new dynamic assimilation technique where customers are wanting to collect rapid ACI response curve data. Please note that range match data should be acquired when the instrument ERGA is well warmed up for best performance. This concludes our an overview of range matching in the LI6800. For further information, you can consult the LI6800 user's manual or our technical support resources at lycor.com 
or you can contact your local distributor.